The Las Vegas Sphere is redefining elite entertainment with an ultra-exclusive menu to match. These prices are not for the faint of heart or thin of wallet. Imagine paying $20 plus for specialized cocktails, $17 for imported beer, $14 for an artisanal soda. This is luxury, VIP only pricing. Of course, the experience inside Sphere's state-of-the-art venue aims to deliver premium value, bespoke accommodations for distinguished tastes. Only the most discerning, big-spending clients can access these one-of-a-kind offerings. They represent the upper echelon of entertainment, not intended for the mainstream. In this video, we break down the ultra-exclusive luxury menu at the groundbreaking Las Vegas Sphere. This is elite pricing for an unmatched, cutting-edge experience within. Join us as we reveal the VIP-only numbers that redefine high-end entertainment. The Las Vegas Sphere provides premium amenities to match its futuristic innovation, but it will cost you. A monumental sphere-shaped venue housing groundbreaking technology just opened in Las Vegas, promising to redefine the future of live entertainment. Located next to the famous Vegas Strip, it is the largest spherical structure in the world. It stands 112 meters tall, taller than the Statue of Liberty, or Big Ben and is 157 meters wide. After a two-year pandemic delay in construction, the Sphere finally opened its doors on September 26th with a concert by U2. The Irish rock band will perform their show, U2, UV Achtung Baby Live at Sphere, a tribute to their 1991 album, over 25 dates through mid-December. Sphere will also premiere a movie in October 6th by acclaimed New York director Darren Aronofsky. It was made specifically for the Sphere Auditorium, integrating all available technology to create an unprecedented immersive experience. It's a science fiction journey into the depths of our future, the director said about Postcard from Earth, the movie that will play inside the Sphere for at least a year and a half. Here we bring you six facts that showcase the magnitude of this new temple of entertainment. 1. A 54,000 SQM LED screen, the largest in the world. The exterior of the sphere is completely illuminated by a 54,000 SQM LED screen, a surface area equivalent to about eight football fields. It has 50 million LED lights that will be on every day and night. It first lit up on July 4th this year. The interior screen that attendees see inside the sphere is 15,000 SQM. With 173 million pixels, it is the highest resolution screen in the world, and it goes from the floor to 76 meters in height. A firm from Zaragoza, led by architect Miguel Monguivel, was behind the design and engineering of both screens. 2. Seating for 17,500 attendees. That's the seating capacity, although it can hold up to 20,000 people, including standing room. 10,000 of the seats are equipped with haptic technology, meaning they can vibrate to make attendees tactilely feel what's on screen. They can also create wind, temperature, and scent effects. 3. Around 167,000 speakers. Sphere's sound is designed using wave field synthesis technology, which uses a large number of electronically controlled speakers so that interference from their sound waves produces a very similar acoustic experience from any place in the hall. Some attendees at the opening also reported the sound isolation is remarkable, meaning little to nothing from inside can be heard outside the hall. 4. A 2.3 billion price tag. In 2019, the total project cost was estimated to be $1.2 billion. However, some design changes, supply chain disruptions from the pandemic, and rising inflation during the final construction stretch ended up nearly doubling the investment in Sphere. It is the most expensive auditorium in Las Vegas, surpassing even Allegiant Stadium, which has four times Sphere's capacity. The lavish budget makes Sphere the priciest performance venue ever built in Sin City. Its costs ballooned from the original 1.2 billion estimate in 2019 to the final $2.3 billion price tag. Design modifications, pandemic supply troubles, and late stage inflation all contributed to the near doubling of spending on the project. Sphere's exorbitant costs exceed the 2 billion Allegiant Stadium, which fits over 80,000 spectators compared to Sphere's 17,500 
For promoters and performers, Sphere's lofty construction tab now raises the stakes and pressures to deliver ticket sales and profits fitting its towering price. Five, these are the prices advertisers pay to be featured on the Las Vegas Sphere. Although the building's price tag may seem very high, the idea is to profit by selling ad space on the exterior screens and through events like concerts inside, such as U2's show, U2, UV Actung Baby Live at Sphere. The day rate is $450,000, and the weekly rate is $650,000, according to documentation provided to potential advertisers and clients. It's worth noting the cost doesn't just include projecting the ad itself, but also designing it specifically for the building's unique features. While Sphere's whopping $2.3 billion construction costs seem astronomical, the venue aims to recoup expenses through advertising and events. Companies can buy digital ad space on Sphere's massive exterior LED screens. The daily ad rate is $450,000, while a full week costs $650,000 based on rate cards given to prospective sponsors. But the price includes more than just screening ads. It covers tailoring them to Sphere's unconventional architecture. Headliners like U2 also add income through concerts inside, such as their show, U2, UV Actung Baby Live at Sphere. Sphere's lofty ad rates match its lavish costs. Promoters predict big name acts coupled with cutting edge tech will attract sponsorship money to light up returns. But filling a 17, 500 seat venue in Vegas every night could prove a tall order, even for Sphere's towering stature. Six, the cost of seeing you 2 at Las Vegas Sphere. Catching u 2s new show at the glittering 17, 500 seat Las Vegas Sphere won't come cheap, even before parking and drinks. Regular ticket prices range from $287 to $600. On resale sites, the cheapest seats still go for over $400 a night. Once inside, costs continue piling up. Parking at Sphere costs a record $100 for self-parking and $125 for valet. Until recently, major strip venues offered free parking. With only 300 on-site spots, most will park at nearby casinos. But beware, many now charge non-guests due to Sphere overflow. Inside. Even water starts at $7 according to a leaked drink menu. A domestic beer is 17. When all is said and done, catching you 2 at the dazzling new sphere may run over $1,000 per person after parking, fees, drinks, and snacks. For fans, the band's unique show and the venue's futuristic tech may justify the sky-high costs. But for many, the total budget could induce sticker shock in Sin City. U2 is the first act rolling the dice on whether concert goers will pay premium prices reflecting Sphere's premium costs. Their success may set the baseline for shows at the pricey new venue. These are not happy hour Applebee's specials. They're higher than many Las Vegas nightclubs and double what major concerts charge. Of course, alcohol sales are key revenue streams for venues, and Sphere's opulent design carries towering costs to recoup. But with nearly 18,000 seats to fill, the bar tab adds up fast, and it could deter some fans, especially recession-weary locals. Sphere is betting its cutting-edge tech and A-list performers will still draw crowds willing to splurge. But for many, the drink menu may be the hardest pill to swallow. Thanks for joining us on this tour of the awe-inspiring Las Vegas Sphere. Be sure to subscribe for more glimpses inside this unprecedented temple of entertainment and technology.